So recently we, we hit 30,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. I reckon that's a big number. So to reward all of you wonderful people with impeccable taste, I'm going to show you um, a technique that I've used before. I'm going to show you uh, an application, a different application. But it's patented, so if anyone who's not a subscriber uses this, we'll be sending copyright lawyers around. So when I do the refraction technique, I quite often just roll my brush like that. But I reckon it looks great when you're painting whitewash too as a foundation. And I'm going to come back later on and splatter paint over the top of this, but I reckon this is a really nice way of getting a lovely broken, chaotic kind of finish. Because our bonus, because we love you so much, I've taken most of the paint off here. And when I start doing this reflection down in the wet sand, I can do this. But now I do this as well. It kind of mirrors all that lovely broken pattern we've got in the whitewash there. And the good news is, paintbrush is doing most of the work. So what I'm doing is I'm applying my brush somewhere where I want lots of white and as the paint diminishes on the brush just push a bit harder and roll it here and there to get that lovely fluffy look and you'll notice that this paintbrush is pretty much dead <laughs> so it's perfect for this it leaves a lovely scraggly kind of mark And again, loading up the brush. Nice intense white there. And I'm leaving a little bit of this burnt umber sort of color in here just to create the illusion that there's some sand caught up in the suds. And I'll come back later on and maybe put some shadows and things in here and there using the same technique, in fact, but a much smaller brush. So this technique is, is lovely for creating that beautiful bounce that waves get when they collapse on themselves in really, really shallow water. You can kind of push them up like that a little bit here and there. It looks like it's bounced back up towards the sky. Dancing water. So all of you subscribers out there, I really want to say thank you very, very much. But I also want to say, I know that some of you have been um, a supporter of me through the last six months. And uh, I really, really want to say that you po probably can't even imagine just how much of a difference it's made to me. So I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's made a, the hugest difference to me and my family. Um, and it was a difficult time, but you made it much more bearable. <laughs> Thank you.